the difference between getting by and getting ahead can be just one crucial decision. That is the case for many people when it comes to finishing their education. EMCC's adult education program is there to help those who have made that decision. Our Keeley Shields talked to some students and instructors who have completed the program. She joins us in the studio with the story. After dropping out of high school, Shantoya Tate didn't know she would finish her education. She found a way this March when she enrolled in EMCC's adult education classes to obtain her GED. Now she is looking forward to graduating and starting college classes this fall, but her journey wasn't always easy. Shantoya Tate's journey to get her GED began in 2019. After her mother died, Shantoya says it was hard to stay focused and she dropped out of the program but she got back on track and nearly four years later, she achieved her goal. I didn't think I was gonna come back, but something changed my mind to come back and um, continue in the finish on. That something was her two-year-old daughter. I wanted to um, make a better life for myself and her. Now, Tate is looking forward to crossing the stage in her cap and gown, and she plans to finally pursue one of her longtime dreams cosmetology. I love to do hair and makeup. that has been my dream to do ever since I was little. Adult education and Smart Start instructor Miranda Skinner knows firsthand what some of her students are going through and that sometimes helps her get through to them better. Sometimes I'll tell them my story and let them know their, you know, their struggles are, aren't that bad. They're bad but they're not as bad as they may think they are because I've gone through it myself you know, being a single mother with children and stuff like that and trying to um, pay bills, living paycheck to paycheck. I let them know that they still can, you know, make it through no matter what. Skinner says this program goes beyond the classroom and gets students ready for the real world. We teach about uh, preparing resumes, customer service on jobs, interviewing skills. Um, that we also prepared them to take the work he's test as well. Adult Education Director Tashira Dismuke says the first steps are always the hardest. Some of the challenges that we see first is getting people to come through the door to um, take the next step of attaining their high school equivalency. Other challenges um, that we see or barriers we like to um, call them is sometimes the flexibility. Sometimes they have to go to work over attending school. And so those user usually are challenges for our students. Dismuke says that Mississippi has piloted a new opportunity for students who are getting their GED and the early results are promising. Recently, the Mississippi um, Office of Adult Education piloted or um, created an opportunity for students that had high set scores in one area or in areas and GED scores in areas to make it where those scores can compile together to offer a high school equivalency through what's called total transcript. As for Shantoya Tate, she says she would go back and tell her younger self one thing. I would tell myself to push harder through it and um, just stay focused. To learn more about the GED courses EMCC offers, visit WCBI.com.